What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Get Real Bass Fishing. In today's video, I partnered with Montauk Surfcasters Association and the town of Brookhaven to bring you a video that we have never seen before, and that is how to survive in water with waders on. Now we brought multiple guys out, rigged up in different types of gear to see which way was the best way to survive if you fall in water with waders on. It's a super informative video, and I'm so happy that we have something on the internet like this for your guys' safety to make sure that you guys are all safe while fishing. I'm Councilman Dan Panico. We're here at the Mastic Aquatic Center. And today the video that you're watching is brought to you by the Town of Brookhaven and the Montauk Surfcasters Association about the inherent risks of wearing waders and improperly wearing waders. And this instructional video will hopefully save someone's life. Hey guys, Bill Jacob, Montauk Surfcasters Association. Been fishing the surf for going on 50 years or more. It makes me really old, but I've heard a lot of stories about guys that have fallen in with waders on. Good stories where they've uh, saved themselves and got out of the water okay, lived another day, and then I've heard stories and no guys that have fallen in and not had a good day and they're no longer with us. We're gonna do a short uh, video showing you some of the ideas on uh, what you should wear while you're fishing uh, in chest waders, uh, how to be safe, what happens to you when you fall in the water, and hopefully it'll make you a safer and better fisherman. So, watch the video, guys catch them up, see you on the beach. So first we tried out just chest waders, nothing else, no belt, no surf top, and we gave that a test. As you would expect, they filled up with water almost immediately and became very, very dangerous to have on. In this instance, the best thing to do is to unbuckle them, kick them off as quick as possible, and swim to safety. Next, we wore boot foot waders with a belt and a jacket and walked in neck deep. In this instance, water came over the jacket and filled the top of his chest. You'll see with that belt on, it kept him safe and dry underneath. His pants underneath the waders were fairly dry and his waders did not fill up with water. Mind you, he walked into a calm swimming pool, only neck deep and walked back out. Next, we walked in with stocking foot waders with laced up boots, a surf top, and a belt attached. With this setup, we wanted to see how difficult it would be to unlace the boots, get the boots off, and pull the waders off. We quickly found out that it was much easier to swim with the belt, the surf top, the waders, and the boots still attached. By wearing the well-sealed surf top, and the belt, and the waders, and the boots, it kept most of the water out and it was easier to swim to shore. Mind you, this is a calm swimming pool with lifeguards, known depth, no current, and no fear of being swept away. We wanted to see how difficult and unsafe it would be to take the boots off, so we attempted that as well. Turns out that was a very exhausting and nearly impossible task to do in a calm swimming pool. So to attempt it in moving current in the ocean cold water, it would be almost fatal. We then attempted the same thing with boot foot waders, a belt, and a surf top to see how that performed. Again, we found that it was much easier just to swim to shore with everything attached and not have to worry or stress about removing everything. Of course, with water coming over the jacket, his chest got wet, but underneath that belt, waist down, it seemed pretty dry. We also tried wearing the boot foot waders with no surf top and just the belt and attempted swimming. As you might expect, the waders did not fill up as quickly with the belt on. The best thing to do in that situation was to get all of the air out of the legs of the waders, then swim to shore as quickly as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and saw a little something that you don't normally see and that's that underwater footage of the stress 
the kicking, what is actually going on underwater when you fall inside with waders on. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and definitely share it on all of your social media accounts to help keep people safe, your friends, your dads, your brothers, your sons, um, sisters, mothers, everyone should see this video. If they're wearing waders out on jetties, in the wash, in the surf, or just in general wearing waders, help them see how to wear them safely and what to do if they fall in the water. I hope this video opened your eyes a little bit to wearing waders and being safe while doing so. Enjoy the rest of the season, be safe out there, and catch some fish. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more fishing on Long Island, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Get Real Bass Fishing. And as always, thank you for watching, stay real, smooch and release, and have some fun on the water.